All right, so noise wash. Um, this is the power starve. This is the tone control. This is the gate and the swash control. I know you can't really see it, but um, power, tone, gate, swash, and then pre-clip, post-clip, and toggles for each. And then this is oscillator control, and then this is volume, and that's about it. So I have everything set at 12 o'clock, and I don't know if it's going to make any sound, but we'll see. So right now it's kind of just uh, a popping sound. I don't have either of the uh, pre or post clip on, so that might be affecting the sound. I have the power starve all the way up, so... Um, now I will turn the, the pre-clip on. So obviously it's a pretty big difference. Um, and that was at 12 o'clock. If we move it down... through the whole knob there, so it's, it's kind of a subtle difference. It's more about the combinations of the knobs than just a single knob. So here is the uh, post clip. And that was at 12 o'clock, so I'll start to move it up and down. So the the pre -clip, or the post clip doesn't really do much uh, unless you you do it in combination with something else. So uh, I'll just start tweaking things, and you can you can see where it goes. also plays itself.
So uh, that's it in a nutshell. Um, it's called a noise swash for a reason. Um, so if you're trying to find anything musical out of it, um, I did play it with guitar and I got a kind of uh, psychedelic kind of grungy uh, blown speaker sound. Um, but with bass you're not going to really find any low end. Um, it's mostly about oscillation and all. So I really like it. Um, it's pretty cool. I've been playing it by itself a lot. So uh, hope that helps. Before I miss noise wash. <laughs>